Hello everybody and welcome back to my survival world and <laughs> I'm not gonna use these shaders right now um, I'm probably this is like I really love these shaders though this is like something I would use like on a server or something I just I don't know I'm gonna turn off those birds though this this shaders pack is so customizable too it's got such a unique charm to it kind of just I don't know I want to mess around with this but for now I'm gonna use a different shaders all right and there we go uh, we're using a less intensive shaders I really love these like new shaders that are coming out they're just kind of I don't know. Uh, they have like nice reflections and I don't know, we'll test them out in later videos. But yeah, in this video I'm gonna get to work on a lot. I, I've been busy this week, but not nearly as busy as I should be. So we're gonna get on the grind and do as much as we can before I, before I have to go. But test week is almost here for me, uh, and I'm wrapping up my first year of freshman college. That is going to be really fun for me. I'm going to miss it because it was really easy this year. But anyways, uh, I did just a little bit over here. Uh, not too much, just made a little fountain and town center area. Uh, I'm planning on adding a few benches. I have I have a couple bench designs I can show you guys later. Uh, they're really simple to make. Uh, I just really need to... I need to explore so I can um, get spruce wood and dark oak wood and coral reef. I need a coral reef so bad. Uh, yeah, let's get to exploring and this isn't really planned out so far. So we'll see what happens when we get there. Ah, uh, nothing like... Sailing across the seas at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's really late for me, but I don't I don't have work in the morning, so I'm just going to stay up all night. Oh, what the? Oh, stuff down there. Uh-oh. <gasps> Ooh, chest. Buried treasure. Oh, I hear a trident guy. Oh no, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I've been I've been playing a lot of Bed Wars recently, and I I I really wanna stream those episodes. Uh if you guys missed it, I streamed for the first time in a very long time actually. Um it was really fun. I hung out with some old friends and uh yeah, just chill out with us if you wanna <laughs> if you wanna see us die a lot in uh bed wars but it was really fun i enjoyed it and i'll do it next time so i'll see you guys there the one thing i don't understand is why do we have all of these different style <laughs> different forms of boats different forms of doors different forms of pressure plates buttons you name it and then we just have one ugly looking chest I think we need like different like chests like like in some mods they have uh different wood chests those are really nice like <laughs> I would appreciate if people would stop thinking about like what are we going to add instead of what are we going to improve cuz I really I really like what this game has to offer so far, but they need to improve a lot still. Alright, and I don't know the trick exactly, but isn't it like in the corner? I'm just trying to get some loot here, okay? Let's go. I f first try. Don't look at that over there. I'm the best. Ooh, dang. I feel like they should add more of this type of like rare 
item. They need a lot more items, I think. Like, um, like in Terraria, where it builds up, um, like there are platforms to, like, get better weapons and stuff, instead of having this, like, enchantment system with, like, only four tiers, really only three tiers of items. It would add so much more to the game. But maybe that's just because I'm... I've been playing a lot of Terraria recently. Or maybe another way to think about it is just adding collectibles to the game. Because I know me and my friends really enjoy collectibles in other games too. Because I'm planning on making a trophy room right next to my uh, library under my house. I think it would be a great addition to have rare items. Just that feeling of, oh my gosh, I got a really rare item. In Terraria, with my friends, I got two rods of discords, and I felt like the man. <gasps> doggy, doggy, doggy. Um, best friend. Yes. Um, best friend. Uh, never mind. You're my bestest friend. Come on, let's go. I will name my doggy. Um. Virgil. My dog's name is going to be Virgil. Oh, spruce. That's, uh, spruce down. Now all I need is dark oak. Come on, Virgil. Let's go explore the seven rings of hell. I mean, purgatory. All right, we got enough for a big tree. I think I'll just leave the dark oak forest exploration for next time because I don't feel like going thousands of blocks for uh, just a good looking floor so I will get back to you guys when I'm back in the uh, starter village all right and we're back at our mansion I think next stream I'll stream my survival world and you guys can just interact and see how my uh, progress is going over here I I trapped some of these guys I found, uh, I, uh, don't ask what I did to the wandering trader, but, uh, those guys are chill. They're cool. I like those guys. Alright, I just threw all my trash in here. I'm gonna hang up, uh, my buried treasure map and my heart of the sea, because I want these to be, like, a, a memento to my first heart of the sea, uh, for now, until I get Nautilus shells, so I can make a, um, an actual conduit. Uh, I want to make, like, an underwater frog cave. Uh, that's, like, later in the future. That's way down the road. But I just have a really good idea for that. Because, uh, the new frogs in the game are so cute. And I just, I want one. I really want a frog. Alright, I'll use the remainder of my emeralds to buy some bricks. What do I need to get? I need to get, um, a bunch of clay, maybe? I need to get something where I can just... A Fletcher! Oh, that's a really good one. I think it's two flint for a fletching table? It is. Okay. You will be my stick trader. Give me money. Give me money. Five bricks? Where did all my bricks go? What in the world? Anyways, uh, I'll get some bricks. I'll do some work on my mansion. And I'll... Um, I'll grind this out until we have all the walls up, and then I'll have a floor plan. I have a really interesting plan for my for my mansion, so I'll see you guys when I'm done with the walls. Okay, so what I've been working on is getting a few stick traders. Oh, he's reduced the price. Um, that's good. I am getting a leather worker, so I can get a saddle. Apart from that, let's, uh... Let's name our dog. There we go. All right, our first name tag. Oh, and also, I'm gonna get a bunch of spruce stuff because I want to trade a lot of sticks. All right, get over here, Virgil. And boom, there we go. This is my First dog, Virgil, you are the best dog in the world. I love you, and you are amazing. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. If they do, I will 
I will find them. I will find them, Virgil. Okay. Uh, yeah. I did a lot of, uh, off-camera on grinding. Not really off-camera. It was on-camera. Uh, I have the footage. I have the receipts. Um, but let's get some emeralds. Let's get some, uh, mending books. And let us do some trading. This is... I have so many emeralds now. Let's go. This game is really funny when it comes to farming animals. It's like, it's just mitosis. They're duplicating. Boom. And there we go. Instant. Instantaneous duplication. Uh, now I said I would test the shader pack later, but... Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Whoa. I tweaked some of the settings so that it wouldn't be too like fantasy like but man this is whoa oh and the shift <laughs> this is awesome what what in the world okay that might be a bit too much that might be a deal breaker it's kind of scary actually the netherite has like just a little bit of a sheen Oh, man. I really like that one. I really didn't mean for this turning into a showcase, but this is... Okay, that's enough. Um, I was mainly here just to show these thingies. I saw these designs on the internet, but I kind of fiddled around with them. I don't really know which one I like more. I might fiddle around with these more oh these look so cool with the texture pack too all right and we are back um what i really need to do is get a bunch of white and light gray concrete powder for my interior walls but yeah i've already gotten a lot of my walls done uh i just need to start like doing the the finishing bits like um, finishing up the back and then putting some trim around the edges. Uh, but if, apart from that, I'm pretty much done with the outside uh, until I get the interior done so I can do windows and stuff and the roof. Yeah, let's, uh, let's grab some sand so we can make some uh, concrete powder. All right, and there we go. Uh, We'll start off right here, go all the way up. Oh shoot, wait, I forgot something. And we have to go to the nether because I do not have any quartz whatsoever. All right, uh, this should be enough to get us started off. Hello Virgil, my most loyal dog there is. I am running out of time, so I probably might just get the interior layout done, but I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Is there another... Oh, there is. Oh, sick. This guy dropped all of his guys. Oh, that's a, that's a good one. I need that one. I need the slime balls. And I'll take the tropical fish. Let me grab some emeralds real quick, guy. Don't leave just yet. Alright. Um, let's get a couple of these. Let's get a couple of these. All right, three fish and a couple slime balls. That's all right with me, because we are poor right now. Let's keep these in here for a minute, because I'm going to make a fish tank in the future. So many plans, such little time. But yeah, let's get started on the interior, and I'll check back on you guys whenever I have it finished. Sir, please get out of the way. Please get out of the way. Oh my gosh, these guys are so annoying. All right, wallpaper for the interior is pretty much done. I'll have to decorate this with uh, curtains and just some shelves here in a minute, but let's clear everything up and make a... Oh, the flooring. I completely forgot about the flooring. Ah, oh, we'll have to do that next episode with a bee farm. Alright, yeah, let's get a uh, floor plan out for this real quick. Now, in a mansion, or like a suburban mansion, there's usually like a staircase tucked up in the corner. Um... As soon as you walk in, 
uh, and then like a doorway to a kitchen or uh, a hallway to bedrooms or you name it uh, all stick with the how suburban mansions are usually made where they have a, a grand staircase uh, I'll have it wrapping around a, uh, a little archway so it can go into the kitchen we'll have the kitchen back here and then over here we will have some sort of office room or maybe even like a dining area and then over here we will have maybe over here we'll have some residential rooms maybe a guest uh, bedroom um, and then up the stairs we'll have uh, more bedrooms maybe my bedroom the master bedroom over here we'll have some sort of I don't know library or another office and then we'll have like a secret passageway that goes down to our main library uh, I don't know for sure yet none of these are solid plans but I'll get to making the outline real quick and then we'll call it a day I know we didn't do much this episode but I had a lot of fun uh, getting a dog and stuff and just hanging out with you guys actually I think right here we'll have a little hallway that goes down to the bedrooms and then we'll have a little closeted area right here maybe for like coats and stuff and then we'll hang some paintings and then over here we'll have the main area actually instead of like a residential area I think I'm gonna put my put a tad bit of like fantasy in here and then put like a a small little armory up here so <laughs> It looks like I have all my armor up here, but actually, I'll have all my relics down below. So this will just be for, like, a flashy kind of show. Alright, there we go. Now we have the floor plan made. Uh, we can actually have a <laughs> little plan for our house, because before I, I, just, I was just going with the flow. Um, I'll finish up the house uh, in between these cuts. I just need to get more materials and stuff. But yeah, I'll be right back when I get the walls built up around the house. Alright, and we're back. We finally got a saddle. Let's go. And I can dye this leather armor. I might have to put it in the uh, cauldron. I have no idea. But let us pick a flower. Maybe... I don't know. Uh, what flower should we do? Never mind. Let's just do white dye. And then let's pick a horse. I think I saw one up there. Yep. Alright, let's see how fast this guy is. Okay, he's not the best horse, but it'll do. Oh, this guy's a lot faster. And he, he has a horrible jump. Okay, I think I'll just stick with this guy. I think, uh, I think I'm going to name the horse Dante, because... I want to have the same name as my dog, like Dante and Virgil from Dante's Inferno. So, yeah, I'll just uh, name him Dante. Yeah, this is so convenient, just having a horse. Oh, man, I love this. Uh, I think I'm going to do some horse breeding in future episodes so I can get a way better horse. But for, in for right now, I'll have to deal with uh, Dante the first. Let me finish up the walls, and I'll, uh, I'll be done with this house. Man, this, this house has been a huge project for me, even though, like, it's not, like, too much, and I haven't really done much on it. It's still a huge project. Alright, and we've got our first little room kind of mapped out here. I'm gonna have to end it quite soon here, because I'm running a bit out of time. But yeah, there we go. Um... <laughs> I'll have to polish this up a bit and finish the roof in the back, but other than that, I think uh, I think we're set to go on like finishing up the build apart from the floor. But I can um, I can use something else uh, for right now just to hold this over, and then I'll I'll replace the floor uh, afterwards, or I can just make a quick bee farm and do all the flooring in one episode. Um, or before an episode. So yeah, uh, I think I'm going to end it here, guys. 
If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and keep an eye out for my next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.